Hello guys and welcome again to another very interesting episode of the Africa EV show. My name is Njenga Hakina, bringing you the latest on some of the common Chinese EVs you can buy in Kenya. From sporty crossovers to family sedans, let's explore what Chinese EV brands you can buy today from showrooms or in cards across the country. First up, the BYD Auto 3. It's a stylish urban SUV that feels futuristic inside and out. With BYD's reliable blade battery and around 420 kilometers of range on a single charge, it's perfect for weekend getaways and urban commutes alike. Dealers say it's the first Chinese EV to make a serious splash in Kenya. This compact crossover SUV's price ranges from or between 30 to $37,000 before tax. For city dwellers, the Dolphin subcompact hatchback is not too big and it's easy to park in tight spaces. It is available for $30,000 and the car comes with a 38 kilowatt hour battery offering a 300 to 405 kilometer range on a single charge. For the upmarket class, the seal is sleek and refined an arrival to premium European sedans. It has a roomy cabin and long range of 470 to 545 kilometers, retailing for forty to fifty thousand dollars before tax. This mid-sized sedan comes in a variation of 46 to 56 kilowatt hour blade LFP batteries. It is worth noting that the BYD range of cars are available at Logzia, which is a part of CFAO Mobility, which is affiliated to Toyota Susho. It's also available in other dealerships, so it is not limited to just Logzia. From China's micro EV craze comes the Wuling Air EV, small but with impressive range. It's ideal for quick town runs. The subcompact hatchback has a 200 to 300 kilometer range with a 32 to 38 kilowatt hour battery. And if you remember the Africa Climate Summit where the Kenyan president drove himself, this is the car. And it is retailing in Kenya and you will have to cough up upwards of $10,000. Neta rolled into Kenya with a bang, leasing the electric cars for just $30 a day. And this was targeting ride-hailing drivers. But now, you can buy these cars for thirty, almost $40,000 and enjoy a stylish but basic tech-packed unit. The compact crossover CATL LFP battery is a 39 kilowatt hour has a range of 300 kilometers on a single charge. However, Neta's parent company, China's Huzon New Energy Automobile, has entered bankruptcy reorganization proceedings in China. But whether this affects the Neta car brand remains to be seen. But would you buy it and risk it all? The Henry is another Chinese EV aimed at the ride-hailing businesses with leases available to drivers who do not have their cars. The car is designed for urban areas with a range of 170 kilometers. In Kenya, you can fully charge the Henry for $3 only. The car is sold in China as the Xiaohu or the Mini Dragon, but just like with other brands, they are rebadged differently in various countries. In the commercial space, Joy Long's vans are making quiet strides, serving NGOs, schools, and tour operators seeking spacious but efficient EV transport. The price is between twenty-five to thirty-five thousand US dollars before tax, and with a two hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty kilometer range on a single charge, the van can be used for both passengers and cargo transport. You can get the vans from the country's EV buses assembler Basigo or other dealers in the EV space in Kenya. Now, Utu cars were the first to bring in the Netas and the Woolings, but they have now increased the brands to include the Dongfeng box, which is badged NAMI in Kenya. The NAMI series goes for $16,600 to $18,500 to $18, before tax. This is from NAMI one to nami four and so if you're looking for any car within that uh, price range then a dongfeng box could be what you go to and then though british badged the mg4's roots are chinese it brings european build quality with a solid range at around thirty thousand dollars before taxes 
The partners importing these vehicles to Kenya plan to have these vehicles locally assembled, which will help reduce the cost. The MGs come with battery variations between 26 to 44 kilowatt hours, offering 300 to 415 kilometer range on a single charge. Now, Kenya's Chinese EV market is picking up speed from entry-level city hatchbacks to luxurious crossovers and fleet trucks. Whether you're a commuter, family driver, or business owner, there is a green option for you. Do your homework, shop smart, and plug into the future. And for more of these stories, hit like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon for regular updates on EVs in Africa. To keep the conversation going, please drop a comment and let us know what you think of the vehicles we mentioned here. We'd be glad to engage with you. See you again soon.